So today we're going to be looking at Z-Wave. Now, I've got a demonstration door lock here, but it's not the lock we're really interested in. What we're looking at is the Z-Wave module that talks to it. Now, when you pair a Z-Wave device, there's a key exchange. Now, unfortunately, in the earlier versions, what's called S0, that key exchange is really easy to crack. So the Z-Wave Alliance have come up with a more secure mechanism called S2, and that involves a Diffie-Hellman key exchange, which should be much more robust. But what we're going to show right now is how easy it is to downgrade that attack and take it back to the easy, hackable S0 version. Andrew, do you want to show us how the lock works? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pair the lock with S2. We've got a laptop here that's acting as a hub or controller in the Z-Wave network. All I'm going to do is I'm going to press the add button here, and on the back of the lock, I'm going to triple click the uh, add button. It's going to ask me a few questions, one of which are the first five digits of the key of the device, which I'm going to enter. Then the key exchange will occur, at which stage it will show up as an S2. We can command the lock, telling it to unlock. The green LED is showing the door is now unlocked. Fantastic. Now, you'd have thought that bringing in a Diffie-Hellman key exchange would make that process much more difficult to intercept. But unfortunately, it's a fantastic downgrade. Andrew, let's have a look at that. So now what we're going to do is modify that pairing process. Now, I've got a laptop here with an RF cat ready. And what we're going to do is wait for that pairing process and then inject modified traffic to force it to downgrade from S2 to S0, which is much easier to intercept. Andrew, let's give it a go. So Ken, you're going to run the command on the laptop first. Okay. Um, once you've done that, I'm going to press this to add the device, and then we're going to press add, and we're going to see it pair as ST. See if we can make it work. You ready? Go. So you can see it's intercepted it there. I'm going to press add on here. The device is adding. You'll notice it hasn't asked me for the key. It hasn't asked me any of those questions and it's paired as S0. We can now command the lock as we did before, but we've got it down to S0, which means we can insert the key and we can command the lock from outside the house. So this is really bad, isn't it? And the reason why this is in place is because of backwards compatibility. So I think if the Z-Wave Alliance said, right, everything must use S2 now, then we'd have a lot of electronic waste. So they permitted backwards compatibility, but by doing that, they effectively created a downgrade attack that, frankly, bypasses the security that S2 offers.